What's up guys? We're back with another book summary and this is the greatest book ever. The Greatest Salesman in the World by O.G. Mandino. Let's get into it. So let's talk about the author for a second. O.G. Mandino is a really inspiring individual. He grew up in Massachusetts. Uh, he was the editor of his high school paper and he pl had plans to go on to college afterwards when his mother dropped dead in the kitchen while she was making him lunch and he had a really tough time dealing with this after he ended up working in a factory instead of going to college and then going on to the military uh, when he got back he ended up getting married and he started to develop an alcohol problem to which led him to uh, contemplating committing suicide but instead he found himself in a library and uh, read a book by the name of Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude. I haven't read this book yet, but I'm definitely going to. So definitely stay tuned for the book summary. After I read that book, I will definitely put out a book summary for you guys um, because Mandino said that this book virtually changed his life. And he went on to write one of the best books I think in uh, history over 14 million copies sold. So what is The Greatest Salesman in the World about? Uh, there's two main characters, those being Hafid and Pathros, and uh, Hafid is a camel boy and Pathros is a successful entrepreneur. So uh, Hafid wants to learn from Pathros how to become the greatest salesman in the world. So in order for Pathros to uh, help Hafid uh, become successful in his goal of becoming the greatest salesman in the world, he presents him with a box of scrolls. And there's 10 scrolls in this box and we'll go through each one. So the 10 scrolls are basically a testament to the principles of living a wealthy, happy life. And the way that Pathros uh, defines wealth to Hafid is not in material riches, but rather in happiness, in love, in peace, and in the heart. Scroll number one. I will form good habits and become their slave. Scroll number two. I will greet this day with love in my heart and approach everyone and everything with love. Scroll number three. I will persist until I succeed. No matter what life throws at me, I will keep pushing ahead until I succeed. Scroll number four. I am nature's greatest miracle. I will leverage fully on my characteristics, skills, and assets. Scroll number five. I will live this day as if it is my last. I only have this moment to act so I will make the most of it. Number six, today I will be the master of my emotions. I will not let my mood or my thoughts control my life or my actions. Scroll number seven, I will laugh at the world and I will laugh often. Number eight, today I will multiply my value a hundredfold. And I will find creative ways to create immense value. Number nine, I will act now because without action, there is no results. And that brings us to number 10. So I want to preface this one by saying you can interpret this uh, scroll however which way you want. If you believe in God, you don't believe in God. I think it's more about what kind of energy you're putting into the world and the thoughts that you're thinking and the energy that you're receiving back. So the scroll calls for, I will pray to God for guidance rather than for material wealth or belongings. And again, uh, I think it's more about giving loving energy to others uh, in order to receive that back rather than, um, you know, expecting things from people or, uh, focusing so much on what you don't have rather than what you do have. And that's a wrap for the greatest salesman in the world. Let's give it up for OG Mandino for writing this book. 
And I hope you guys found this information useful. If you decide to read the book, please reach out to me. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you have any book recommendations you would like to send my way, please do. I would love to hear what books you guys are reading and check those out too. So until next time, I will see you guys then.